We do have a sure sign of spring and, more importantly, a sign of recovery following Hurricane Sandy. New York's famous Coney Island opens today for the first time since the devastating storm hit the area. ABC's Marcy Gonzalez joins us live from Coney Island. Marcy, this has been a day everyone from New York, New Yorkers to tourists have been waiting for. Absolutely, Viana, and there's still a lot of work left to do, but considering that much of this area was under five feet of water just months ago, this opening day celebration planned for today is not only exciting, it's symbolic. The sounds of the boardwalk along New York City's Coney Island, now the anthem of a comeback. Come on down, baby. Ready to rock and roll. A triumphant return to the high flying greatness that's brought visitors here for more than a century. A far leap from the mess left behind when Superstorm Sandy ripped through here last October. Look at the debris. When you see it, that's just unbelievable. The amusement park buried in sand, the electrical systems of iconic rides that have been in Dennis and DJ Vorderis's family for decades destroyed. We had the water up to here, and the problem is it was, uh, wasn't regular water, it was corrosive. It is a storm damage story echoed along the Jersey Shore. And there is Seaside. Where rides were buried beneath six feet of water, the boardwalks yeah, ripped to pieces. Like Yet from Atlantic City back up to Coney Island, these legendary beachside amusement parks are beating the odds, reopening for the season on schedule today. I think the message is that we're resilient. We're resilient New Yorkers, and, you know, Sandy isn't going to keep us down. It took almost five months of hard work and millions of dollars. But soon the wooden planks of the famous cyclone will rumble and the smell of Nathan's famous hot dogs will fill the air. Signs of the start of summer on Coney Island, but a celebration of so much more. It's our way of saying, you know, New York made it through Sandy, now let's go have a good time. Back to normalcy. <laughs> And what would a celebration on Coney Island be without a hot dog eating contest? Today they are holding a qualifying match for the big contest on July 4th. And Dan, don't worry, I already signed you up.